dear students let us continue with the next topic types of optical fibers optical fibers are classified into three types based on the materials used for making optical fibers number of modes transmitted and the refractive index profile the three types of optical fibers are step index single mode fiber step index multi mode fiber and graded index multi mode fiber so let us study about each of them let us begin with the step index single mode fiber so in the step index single mode fiber we have the geometry of the fiber refractive index profile and the ray propagation so let us know first about the geometry of the fiber we know a, fib a fiber is made of mainly two parts core and the cladding the inner cylindrical layer is core and the outer cylindrical layer is cladding refractive index of core is n1 refractive index of cladding is n2 we also know always n1 is greater than n2 here in the single mode fiber the diameter of the core the diameter of the core is 8 to 10 micrometer so the core is very 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 narrow its diameter is 8 to 10 micrometer because of which it can support only one mode of propagation of light through it hence it is called as a single mode fiber its external cladding diameter is about a 60 to 70 micrometer 60 to 70 micrometer now refractive index profile what is the refractive index profile it is the graph of radial distance versus the refractive index radial distance versus the refractive index so here this stands for refractive index of core and this stands for refractive index of cladding since there is a sudden increase of refractive index from cladding to the core here the refractive index profile takes the shape of a step it takes the shape of a step hence it is called as a step index single mode fiber means step refractive index single mode fiber if you come to ray propagation if you come to ray propagation here so a laser is the source of light used for the light to propagate the light used is the laser and this type of optical fiber they are less expensive less expensive and they find application in long distance communication system that is in the case of submarine cable system but these optical fibers they are very difficult to splice so what do you mean by splicing splicing means connecting the strands of one optical fiber to the strands of other optical fiber for that there exists optic connectors those optic connectors are highly costly so therefore it is very difficult to splice so let us go to the second type of optical fiber that is step index multi mode fiber step index multi mode fiber so here let us know about the geometry the diameter of the core here is 50 to 200 micrometer since the diameter of the core is 50 to 200 micrometer so it has got a very large core it has got a very large core so because of which it can support number of light rays to propagate through it or number of modes of light to propagate through it hence it is called as a multi mode fiber multi mode fiber it allows many number of rays to propagate through it and the external cladding diameter is 
100 to 250 micrometer 100 to 250 micrometer if you come to the refractive index profile if you come to the refractive index profile so this is also step index only the refractive index profile is step index only so here also the refractive index profile it takes the shape of a step so both the type of fibers they are of step index only but the difference what you can see means here core has got a small region here core has got a the there is a very large plane region for the core very large plane region for the core that's all the difference if you come to ray propagation so here they use either led or the laser as a source of light and it is the least expensive of all the fibers and it finds application in data links which has a lower bandwidth requirements means in the case of computer connections or in the case of short distance communication systems they use this type of optical fiber now the third one is graded index multimode fiber graded index multimode fiber it is also denoted as green it is also denoted as green so here multimode fibers are of two types one is a step index multimode fiber other is a graded index multimode fiber that is based on this refractive index profile only multimode fibers are classified into two types one is a graded index multimode fiber other is a step index multimode fiber now you can see the geometry observe the geometry this geometry is same as same as your step index multimode fiber there is no change in the geometry of the fiber okay only there is a change in the refractive index profile here the refractive index profile is step index but here the refractive index profile is graded index that means so core has got core has got a concentric layer of refractive index core has got a concentric layer of refractive index that means so core has got the refractive index more at the center and as you move away from the center the refractive index decreases for the core refractive index decreases for the core but so cladding refractive index is uniform cladding refractive index is uniform so this is the major difference so core has got more refractive index at the center as you move away from the center the core refractive index will go on decreasing now if you come to the ray propagation if you come to the ray propagation it uses either laser or led as the source of light and here you can see so there is the light ray propagation is in the form of concentric layers only so in the second case the light ray propagates in the zigzag pattern zigzag pattern whereas here it propagates in the concentric layers only now so where do they find the application these type of optical fibers they find application in the telephone trunk between central offices in the telephone trunk between central offices so these are the three types of optical fibers step index single mode fiber step index multi mode fiber and graded index multi mode fiber let us go to the next topic let us go to the next topic so that is let us go to the next topic that is attenuation attenuation or it is called as the fiber loss fiber loss what do you mean by attenuation the power loss suffered by the signal when it propagates through the fiber 
is called as attenuation it is the loss in the light signal as the light propagates in an optical fiber that is called as attenuation it is also called as fiber loss as the length of the fiber increases even the loss in the light signal will also increase so here there are three types of losses three types of attenuation so what are the three types of losses there may be loss in the light signal due to the absorption losses or due to scattering losses or due to radiation losses now let us study one by one first one is absorption loss so in this case as we know i'll show you one diagram here see the uh, ray propagation diagram ha ah, this one see so this is an optical fiber right as the light signal we know light is consisting of photons as the light propagates inside an optical fiber nothing but photons are traveling inside an optical fiber these photons may be absorbed it may be absorbed by the impurities present in the silica glass of which the fiber is made of or else assuming that there are no impurities in the silica glass in the silica glass assuming that there are no impurities the fiber itself has a tendency to absorb the light energy what which has a tendency to absorb the light energy however small it may be it may be that is called as intrinsic absorption now just keep this diagram in the mind so that i can explain here i can explain here yeah so absorption losses occurs in two ways one is absorption of photons by the impurities second one is intrinsic absorption let us go with the first one absorption by impurities so let us assume that the fiber is made of either plastic or glass so let me say there are impurities impurities which are present in the silica glass of which the fiber is made of as the light signal passes into the optical fiber so those impurities can absorb this light energy can absorb this light energy that is one type of loss second one is if you assume that there are no impurities present in the silica glass of which the fiber is made of then then the material itself has a tendency to absorb the light energy however small it may be so that is called as intrinsic absorption intrinsic absorption so whatever may be it is a loss in the light signal this is called as absorption losses if you come to scattering losses scattering losses see so this is an optical fiber where light is traveling inside the optical fiber in the form of photons in the form of photons now what happens as the light propagates inside an optical fiber these photons these photons get scattered these photons get scattered because of the sharp changes in the refractive index of the glass because of the sharp changes in the refractive index of the glass over the distance traveled so what happens photons get scattered when once photons get scattered in all the probabilities the photons they come out of the fiber they come out of the fiber so no doubt there is a loss in the light signal this type of scattering is there no it is same as rayleigh scattering what is rayleigh scattering in the case of rayleigh scattering the scattering efficiency is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength scattering efficiency is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength means a light of very small wavelength 
can get scattered very much efficiently. Four times lambda is decreasing means four times scattering efficiency will be increasing. Increasing. So that type of scattering here it will take place. Means if you are using a light of very small wavelength, if there is a scattering loss, then scattering will be more load out. There will be more loss in the light signal. That is a other type of loss. Third one is a radiative loss or radiation loss. Radiative losses are of two types. Are of two types. One is macroscopic bending. Second one is microscopic bending. What do you mean by radiation loss? Means it is the it is it is a loss due to the bending of the fiber. The bending of the fibers or bending of the cable. is called as radiation loss so there are two types of bends or bendings macroscopic bending or microscopic bending what is a macroscopic bending means they are the bends they are the bends with radii much larger compared to the fiber diameter compared to the diameter of the fiber they are the bendings having larger radii that type of bends are called as macroscopic bends example it occurs while wrapping the fiber on a spool if you wrap a fiber on a spool okay so wrapping diameter will be more than the diameter of the fiber then it is getting bent that means there will be loss in the light signal or turning a fiber around a corner if you go on turning a fiber around the corner so what happens the turning diameter will be more than the diameter of the fiber so hence there will be bending will be more okay so because of that there will be loss in the light signal so this is what macroscopic bending if you come to microscopic bending so microscopic bending occurs occurs due to the non uniformity in the manufacturing of the fiber so because of which it leads to the loss in the light signal microscopic bendings or the small scale bendings are the small scale bendings that takes place that takes place at the core cladding boundary at the core cladding boundary so these may occur due to the non uniformity in the manufacturing of the fiber see we know the stands for the boundary between the core and the cladding if the boundary itself is not right if there is a bending in the boundary itself then the light will not undergo total internal reflection there may be some leakage of light so hence there is a loss so these are these the small scale bendings in which are occurring at the core cladding boundary are called as microscopic bends microscopic 